may have gotten some knowledge about electrical working drawing used by electrical engineers and professional electricians to design, plan, start and finish a project. They also use electrical working drawings in the repairs and maintenance of already existing electrical systems. In today's video, I'm going to walk you step by step how electrical engineers and professional electricians prepare their own working drawing. So relax and don't skip any part of this video. Remember, you are very special to me and everyone in this channel is very special. If you are just joining us for the very first time, this is Electric Age and you are most welcome. In this channel, we try to guide and train electricians in their electrical practices. Today's tutorial is about professionals. So, I have already done a beginner friendly tutorial on this same topic. The link is in the description. So if you are just joining us for the very first time in this topic about electrical working drawing, don't worry. All you need to do is pay good attention and try not to skip any part of this video. You won't regret it. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share and subscribe with a click of the notification bell for more tutorial videos like this one. You can also share your thoughts in the comment section. All right. Now let's look at how electrical engineers and professional electricians prepare their own working drawing. I want to start like this. For instance, if an electrical engineer or a professional electrician is consulted for the electrical project of an estate or a building, what he does first is to visit the building site. At the building site, he makes the first request of the electrical floor plan. If the electrical floor plan is not available, that is if it is a small building, where there is no electrical floor plan. He starts work immediately with his pen and paper and does the following three things I'm going to mention. So one of the things he does is to prepare a rough sketch. This is the rough sketch. Here is room one, here is room two, here is the walkway. Um, let's say uh, here is the kitchen or just prepare a rough sketch. And on this rough sketch, for instance, when you prepare the sketch, you make provisions based on what you are seeing there. This is room one. This is the uh, wardrobe. This is room two. Based on what you are seeing, you just make a provision. Put your sketch down. This sketch is going to help you at home for the preparation of the main electrical working drawing. Number two is a list of spaces. List of spaces I'm talking about here means A, room one. Now, what are the things needed in room one? You are going to meet the owner or the engineer that is um, in charge of that particular site. Based on the requirements, the needed components in each of the space. The first space here is room one. Then we we'll have toilet one. Toilet one goes for room one, that is room eight. Now at room A, what do you need? It will start telling you I need two lighting points, two lights. Is it going is it gonna be POP or wall brackets? It will tell you. Then I'm going to need three socket outlets. Three socket outlets. I'm going to need one TV socket. One TV socket. I'm going to need one AC. AC. Any other thing? No. Then at the toilet, what do you want at the toilet? Do you need water heater? Do you need one lighting point or two lighting points? You say, I need one lighting point. Say, okay, one light. POP, should be POP, a uh, ceiling, ceiling lighting point. What again? I need water heater. One water heater. And so on. 
By the time you finish this for room 1, you go to room 2. What he wants in this particular room may not be the same thing, the same thing he will want in room 2. This room 1 may be the master's bedroom. Room 2 may not be the same thing with the master's bedroom. Room 2, room 3, and so on and so forth. The living room may need something entirely different. So this is the second thing you need to do. It will also guide you. Electricians, professionals in this field do it. Engineers do it so that they will be guided. They will be guided in the preparation of the main working drawing. Now the third thing that um, electrical engineers and professionals does is the preparation of the electrical working drawing. Now in this preparation, they will use the details gotten in first and second uh, things they did at the site initially to get this sketch. This is the second sketch they are preparing. And in most cases, after preparing this sketch at home, there will be mistakes and you will just do away with it and um, prepare another one. So this is the, most of the assignments that engineers and professionals do at home and they must have to get it. They get it right before uh, anything else will follow so at this point what they do is to number the gadgets number the components that are needed fix them in this particular sketch or drawing after fixing them you select a gp let's assume that we've counted all the points we count all the points the lighting points the sockets what next do we do assuming this is what we have got here now we prepare this and fix all the lighting points, the sockets, the AC, we fix them like we did in, the, in our previous video that you will see in the link uh, below. All you need to do is to root, start routing your uh, components, your pipe, you root your pipes and connect all the components. After connecting them, you are good to go. So, coming to the conclusion of this video, I hope you've got something new today if you've really got something new today don't forget to give us a thumbs up share and subscribe with the click of the notification bell so that you don't miss our tutorial videos like this particular one thank you for watching and remain blessed